Hello and welcome back to another beer, well, taste off, not beer review. Um, welcome to another taste off. Now, the beers I'm doing, um, well, when I first started doing this channel, um, this beer, if there's one beer which I've grown to love from doing this channel, it's this one. Um, and <clears throat> I remember seeing it when I was younger in shops and that, and I always gave it a wide berth, but once you start reviewing beer and you start drinking all these different beers, you start to appreciate different styles and what, what have you, and this beer, for me, of all the beers I've had, um, after doing the review, the original review, and, you know, getting it again, now and again, to drink at home and stuff like that, I've learned to appreciate for what it is, and um grown to love it in a way it's a bit of a bit of a love affair so boys and girls this is a taste off between two beers from the same brewer and it is of course duvel duvel for me is a beer which when i'm on holiday i have it uh, christmas i'll get a couple few bottles in it, it's one of them beers which I don't know, I've just grown to love. There's a lot of people out there who don't like Duvel. I'll give you that. There's there's a lot of people out there who think it's horrible. Um, I can't see why they think it's horrible. But, you know, each to their own, as I say. But for me, Duvel is, 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 is a great beer. It's a traditional, classic Belgian gold nail. And it is wonderful. <coughs> so... In the Duvel corner, we've got that one, the normal Duvel, gold nail, and we've got this one, a triple hop uh, Duvel, which I reviewed about a year ago, and um, it's, it's starting to appear in a lot of supermarkets, and I've had this for a while, and it's the Citra triple hop, and I thought, when I had this, I thought, because I liked it, I'll be honest, I absolutely like this one. And of course, I like this one. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to do a self-indulgent beer comparison between the two? So here we are. About six months, a year on or whatever. I can't remember when I did it. Time to do one. So, the Duvel. Let's talk about normal Duvel. This is a the original Duvel. It's been about for years. It's got a fantastic history. If you watch my Duvel review, I'll go into the history. Um... Of course, Duvel's Flemish for Devil. And this can't clocks in at a mighty 8.5% ABV. Not to be sniffed at, boys and girls. In the other corner, we have the Duvel uh, Triple Hop Citra. This one, um, like I said, started, started up here in Tesco's. I think this one came from Booth's. And this is clocking in at 9.5%. Now, this is where it gets a little bit cloudy for me. I'm going about the hops. The hops in this one is, uh, it's got three, it's got, obviously it's a triple. It's got Citra, Saz and Styrians in. And I've got a feeling, is this got Saz and Styrians in minus the Citra? Uh... Let us know in the comments, boys and girls. Let us know. So, without further ado, like you do, time to crack them open. So, we'll crack open the triple first, like you do. So, there is your triple hop crown. And we'll crack open the Duvel original, like you do. There is the Duvel crown. So there's the both crowns. There you go. Super smashing great. So, yeah. Actually, while I'm here doing this, I've, I've got to ask anybody out there, whoever watches me, where's the best place to get them old-fashioned Belgian beer signs? You know, the, the metallic ones. Because I, I, I remember seeing the Duvel one. I thought, oh, that the well on my wall behind me. Because I was going to think of filling that wall up behind me. All these kind of like Belgian, kind of like um, old-fashioned beer signs. So let us know in the comments if anybody's watching me. 
<laughs> Which you might have turned off now, because I'm five minutes in. I've been waffling on. <laughs> anyway, so let's get the aromas. This is from original Duvel. There's a slight hint of pear there. You do pick up that yeast. The triple hot. Yeah. That citra comes alive in that. That's, it's just lemons. Citrus. Beautiful. Beautiful. So an aroma, boys and girls, the winner is that one. The, the triple hot. It just floors, floors, you know, the standard duvel. So let's pull out the standard duvel. So it's going to come out quite pale. Loads of carbonation. If I remember rightly. Very straw like colour. As you can see, I'm knackered that up. But as you can see, loads of carbonation running off there. Now, someone remarked on me that the past few videos I've done, the, the, um, the, the picture quality has been great, and it has. Uh, but it takes a long time for it to upload. Um, so I've decided to use a shittier camera because this is going to be a long review and I thought it would take a shorter time to upload so apologies there <laughs> so let's pull out the uh, triple and more or less the same colour and the thing with the valves which when you do pour them out they're very lively very lively I don't think I've known a beer really that lively as well you know, the Duvel is for me. Anyway, so the original Duvel, big column of carbonation running up, quite a straw colour. It's quite a spacious looking head actually on that, like a meringue. Um, it looks lovely. Looks lovely. Now, the triple hot, it, the head's just plopping down nicely. The, the, the actual carbonation is more spaced out. More clarity to the colour of the beer. But more or less, yeah, I would say it's that the triple hops very much uh, more golden colour beer. The, the original Duvel is more straw-like. But there's a big difference in the um, in the look of them. When you look at them, you can tell the difference a mile off. Um, so, yeah. I was expecting this to be a little bit more closer in comparison to what it is, but <laughs> at the moment it's chalk and cheese, it really is. So um, the only thing now is to go in and try them. So I'm going first with the original Duvel. There it is. Champagne quality. That is champagne in the glass for me. Beautiful pear like. Um, flavour Love, lovely gentle Belgian yeast backbone to it loads of carbonation just bubbling around your mouth it does taste beautiful beautiful um, it's an acquired taste but I love it I really do so yeah the original Duvel Thumbs up for me. It's, it's it's got everything I like about that beer. It's you know it's not going to change, is it? It's got the champagne quality pears, you know, pear drops. The breadness crust from the yeast backbone. It is lovely. So let's go to the triple hop. Heads just plop down. Um, even the aroma is beautiful. It's just that citra, that citra hot that's just kind of burst out of the glass. It's beautiful. I'm gonna go in. That is lovely. It takes that and pushes it to another level. It takes that original Duvel, pushes it up to another level. With the citra hop is just gone on. beautiful. It just adds onto an already good beer for me, and it just adds beautiful lemon notes. 
it, it, it feels like a lemon tart, it, a beautiful lemon taste to it. Not too bitter either. I, I don't know what the IBUs are on this, but I'd imagine it not to be that high, but it's just lovely. Um, it's gorgeous, to be honest with you. It is a gorgeous beer. and, and It says voted best triple hop ever. I've got to admit, you know, if you love your Duvels, if you haven't had this and you love Duvel, get hold of it because it is an absolute belt of a beer. It really is. It's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, so both beers, both beers in now. Looking at the colours, they do now look similar. So it must be bottle conditioned. That one must be bottle conditioned. <laughs> Excuse me. Could be wind. Yeah, it must be bottom condition. Silly me. So, now you can see, they look identical. They didn't perform. And now, I put the rest of that triple hop in. And you can see that they're very, very similar. Very similar, identical. But aromas. Completely different. Completely different. That for me, that citra hop has just added a whole new dimension to a great beer. It's just taking it up a step further to a phenomenal beer. Um, without a shadow of a doubt, that that I can see why they kind of like um, voted it the best triple hop ever. It's just kind of thrown it up, thrown it up. But boys and girls, make no mistake, that one. Is still a fantastic beer. It really is. And, you know, the reason why I do these, you know, beer reviews is is that people like you out there who don't really drink proper beer or, or anything like that will give it a go. And I'm hoping and praying people might go out, pick up a bottle of Duvel, give it a go. Um, some people like it in the fridge, and I have to admit, it does taste great in the fridge as well. But... Please, if you like that Duvel, try that one. Because that one there, my friends, is a fantastic step up. It just it just adds everything to it. So I'm going for one more for the, one more for the road, because I'm waffling on. <laughs> I apologise, but I do waffle on. People who know me will know me that I waffle on. So I'm going to go in the original again. Still great, beautiful pears, yeast. That's what I love about Belgian beers. I could bring that yeast flavour to the, you know, to the fore. Lovely sourdough type of thing going on. Citra. It's to die for as well. So if I've got to pick a winner, how are these two? I love them both. Um, I really do. Um, but tasting both of them, um, regrettably, I would say they're both winners. But if I had to choose, if I was in a bar somewhere in Belgium or if I was somewhere else, <laughs> in an alleyway or somewhere, no. <laughs> if I had to choose a beer... Out of these two, for me, the winner is that. It's the triple hop citra. That is beautiful. It is a beautiful beer. Um, where does this stand uh, compared to a lot of beers? It is, for me, beautiful. It still is a classic Belgian beer. Um, and you've got to love it. You really have to. If You, you know, I'm going to make a bold statement here. Well, I'm 15 minutes in, I don't care. If you love beer, you will love that. You know, if you don't love that, you don't love beer. And on that score, thank you very much for watching this beer review. I've got two 8% beers to finish off. I'm going to stagger downstairs, put a pizza in the oven, talk a load of gibberish to the missus, who in turn will turn around and tell me to shut the fuck up. And that'll be it. See you boys and girls on my next one.